joins us now with how this ban could impact the state of New Mexico and what our clinics are already seeing. Clinics across New Mexico say they're already seeing a slight uptick in people coming from Texas to receive health care services. Texas's six-week abortion ban went into effect at the start of September and quickly sparked protests by people calling the law unconstitutional. Meanwhile, Chelsea Humans with the anti-abortion group Human Coalition Action says the law is a peaceful constitutional law that involves civil lawsuit. They found a way to, to enforce the laws if the government officials refuse to. Um, it can be done in the hands of private citizens. The controversial law states anybody helping a woman get an abortion in Texas past that six-week time frame could be sued. But the Planned Parenthood of the Rocky Mountains Chief Experience Officer says she believes clinics in New Mexico are not liable and are already seeing a slight increase in the number of patients coming from Texas. So in this case, it's the location of the patient being in Texas. So I don't have any concerns or fears or any reason to believe that anyone in New Mexico, for example, if the patients here in New Mexico would have any issues whatsoever. She says in the last two weeks, Planned Parenthood of the Rocky Mountains covering Colorado, Southern Nevada and New Mexico has had more than 30 patients from Texas per week scheduling abortion care. That number was between 5 and 15 visits per week before the ban. She says New Mexico clinics are prepared and have not been overwhelmed by the influx. And from a health care perspective, at Planned Parenthood, what we've been doing is instituting more telemedicine so that we can open up space in our health centers, especially if folks are traveling from Texas. In August of last year, Albuquerque Clinic saw five clients from Texas, and there are at least 10 appointments set for September so far. We are starting to see more people coming to us for support, for help, um, getting a place to stay while they're here, getting uh, rides to and from their appointments, helping with help with uh, meal support while they're here. In past years, about two dozen states have introduced similar measures, but only Texas's version has been enacted. Back to you. OK, Ariana, on Thursday, the Justice Department announced it's suing the state of Texas over the new law, arguing that it was enacted in open defiance of the Constitution. 